Welcome for this fourth episode on how to create a Fall Guys type of game. Last time we created the rolling animation, so now we can come around and roll. So today we will see how to create a climbing animation in Unreal with some motion warping. But first of all, we need to create a jump animation because we don't have the jump animation. So we'll start by doing this. It will be pretty simple, but we will still see, we will see some new features in the animation blueprints. Let's go. So we will start by going into the player folder. So we create a new input action. Input action. We call this a jump. We don't have to change anything inside. Then we will go in our input mapping context and we can create a new mapping. And this is for the jump. Oops, we just need one and we will press the select the key value and we will use the spacebar. We don't have to add any trigger, any modifier. Everything will left it as default because it's just a boolean. When we press on the spacebar, we jump and when we don't press, it doesn't jump. So it's very simple. Now we will go in our player blueprint and we will add the feature of jumping. So we will right click and type jump. So we will use the action event. So we will start with the started. So something which is nice with the character movement and the character parent class that we have is that the jump uh, function already exists. So we can just call the function jump, this one, function jump. When we start, we jump. And when it's completed, I think we'll stop jumping. We'll see what does this do. So we'll save and compile and then launch the game. And if I room run and I press spacebar, my character jump. It's very, very simple. Everything is already in Unreal. Now we just need to add the animation. So we'll go in our animation blueprint. We will go in the mesh, in the player, in the animation folder. So we have two. We have actually three animations. We have the jumping up, which is from standing to jumping. So we'll have to remove the first frame as always. Set range one to seven, reimport. Then we have the falling idle animation. It's an animation with the character staying like that when it's actually falling. So we need to remove the first frame. Set range in the frame import range from 1 to 21. We reimport and there is the falling to landing. It's when it's falling up it get back on the floor. So we need to remove the first frame also. Back 32. Reimport. And now we're good to go. So we'll go in our animation blueprint. So in the event grab first, because we need to know when the player is actually jumping. So we just need to get if the player is falling. So we will get our character movement. We will cast, and we'll just get is falling. Voilà. Is falling. It's from the nav movement component. So is it falling? We will promote this to a variable called is falling. Hop, we put it in the Zen. So I press, I click on add pin to add a new pin if I need. And then I can hop, drag and drop to this is falling better. Now we can go to our anim graph. To keep it a little bit cleaner, we will actually press Alt and click to uh, cancel one of the connection. We will take our locomotion and we will put it in a cache. So we will type cache and we will choose the new save cache pose. 
We just renam rename this locomotion cache. Okay, good, so now we can use it everywhere we want. So we'll create a new uh, state machine. State machine. This one always, state, ma state machine. And we'll call this main animation. And we can plug this in there. We'll open this main animation and we will get the locomotion cache. So we need to add a state. We will call this locomotion. We'll do this little connection by doing drag and drop. And in the locomotion, we will get our cache locomotion. So if we put cache, it says use cache pose locomotion cache. We do this. So it will actually use, so the main animation is going to use the locomotion state machine. We will use the locomotion test state machine. So if we need to change anything in the locomotion, we can just change in the locomotion. It's going to be change in here as well. So it's to keep it a little bit simpler. Then we will create something called a state alias. We call this to polling. So this is actually a reference from another state. I will compile and save. And from the two following, we can see on the right that I can choose some name. So if I choose locomotion, that means when I'm actually in this state, if there is one of the transitions that are true, it will go from the locomotion to one of the animation in here. And we can keep, keep it a little bit clean. So I will show you. In here, I will create a new state called jump. And we will create another state. And we call this is falling. And we can have a transition from to falling to is falling. So we can have here our locomotion and here everything for the jump animation. That's why it's a little bit cleaner. Otherwise, we could have actually Take jump and is falling, plug them in the locomotion, it will work the exact same way. But if we add, for example, like a fighting animation, and we want to be able to kick someone and jump at the same time, we will have to have some line everywhere and it will be a mess. So this is to keep it very clean. So now we will put the transition that we want in the jump. We actually want to be falling. So we want to be falling and we want to use our velocity. We will right click on the pin and split it. And we want to have the Z axis greater than 100. That means we have a velocity on the Z of plus 100. That means we are actually jumping. So if we are, is falling means we are actually falling and we have velocity up, that means we are off the ground and jumping. We put this in the transition. Okay, we compile and save. You can go to our main animation. In the jump, we will go and get our jumping up animation. Plug it in, compile and save. Now, to go from the jump animation to the is falling animation, we actually have nothing to do because we are already falling. We are already off the floor. So we click on this transition and we can check this automatic ruled based on most relevant asset player done. We click on true. And now it will automatically, when the jump animation is done, go from the jump to the is falling animation. And we don't have to put anything inside. It says automatic rules. In the is falling, we will get our animation falling idle. We plug it in. We left click on the falling idle and we will go in the loop animation because we want the animation to loop. We compile and save and we just have to make this transition from to falling to is falling. This is simple. We just plug the is falling. So if we are just falling, it will go to is falling. One last thing we need to do. So our reference is connected to two animation. 
and they both condition use the same variable. So if polling is true, we will either go in this one or in this one. And to be sure it takes the good one, we will put some priority. So we'll click on this transition. We want the jump to be the priority, the priority one. So it say it's on priority order one. We will go on the order transition. The priority is also one. We will put two. But now it will check this transition. And if this transition is not good, it will check this one. And if this one is good, it's gonna go to the is falling straight away. We compile and save, and we need now a way to go back to the locomotion. So we'll create another state alias. We'll call this toolend. And we'll plug in in here. And we'll compile and save to be sure you have everything. And to go back to land, the locomotion state, it's either from the jump state or the is falling state. So we can select jump and is falling. And now the transition will be that we are not falling anymore, which is which means that we are on the ground. Up. We compile and save. And we should have everything good. Everything is plugged in. We will save and we will test it out. Now I can roam around, I can roll, and I can jump. So we can see that it does the animation, it's very subtle. It's up doing the animation. And if I jump straight away, up. It just get down. So it's perfect. Now we just have something to do. The jump and roll, it's kind of fine. But we can... Now we can roll and jump. That looks kind of cool to, to roll and jump. I kind of like it, so I will keep it. You will see later if it's something that makes us some bug, we will change it. But for now, we will keep it. And that's it for the jump animation.